How can the latest digital technologies help people to understand, protect and promote old and traditional crafts like cheesemaking? We've come to these unique shepherd's huts in the very heart of the mountains of Crete in Greece to try to find out more. At 73 years old, Alekos and Tagiada still makes cheese the way he learned from his uncle when he was a small boy. Today, he's cooking in a traditional 19th century dry stone shepherd shelter, which is locally called a mitato. He uses goat's milk to produce two cheese varieties known as mitzitra and katsuhiri. Almost all the families in the area, 85% of the people here were shepherds. Each family had their own animals, shelters, and they were making their own products. So in those years, almost everybody was producing milk. Our family had goats as well. I still have goats to continue the tradition. Computer scientists from a European research project are here to track objects used in cheesemaking. They're also interested in understanding the wider picture, intangible aspects of these ancestral activities, materials used, crafters' movements and dexterity, and the geographical, architectural and cultural contexts of where these crafts came from and once thrived. In a scanners, the we're firstly using scanners to study the tangible objects of the cultural heritage. Secondly, we record the movements so we can mimic and recreate the gestures they do while exercising their crafts. And thirdly, and very importantly, is we recreate the cultural contexts and historical processes, the values and the collective community memories in which the crafts were born. Along with cheesemaking, researchers are creating a database on woolen, textile knitting and dyeing, glass blowing, traditional pottery and silk weaving, among other crafts. Now, interactive augmented reality and mixed reality tools are used to relate the traditional activities to the diverse historical and geographical environments where they developed. We had to work on a general methodology for the acquisition of data of all these traditional crafts and to showcase them. This was difficult. We had to focus on this methodology, for instance, discussing with craft practitioners and understanding how our approach applied to their needs. And at the same time, we had to create the technical tools needed to achieve our goals. That was a great challenge. To promote old traditions among a young, technology-driven public, they're showcased in playful ways. Interactive books explain the secrets of glassmaking, and old cameras take virtual postcards. We created these applications so we can make the results of our research more reachable and more comprehensive. Our research has to be more playful to attract the audience. In order to maintain the traditional crafts, we must draw the interest of people in different ways. We have to modernize the stories. Scientists say the survival of craft traditions and landscapes depend on their economic viability, through ecotourism, for instance. Researchers say digital tools can help with that goal.